Welcome to Storytime with Teacher Matthew. Today's book is The Day the Grounds Quit. The Day the Grounds Quit. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Red Crayon. Uh, we need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all those Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes and dragons and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy so much that all my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crown. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of be calling light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I'm beige and I'm so proud. And I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crown. Uh, it's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only things I color are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, Beige Crown. Duncan. Gray Crown here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know the elephants are gray, yeah, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself, and don't even get me started in your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Uh, you know, baby penguins are gray, you know. And so are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? You're very tired, friends. Gray crown. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you're using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know that I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things, and it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. White Cat in the White Snow by Duncan. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outlines of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill it in with the colors with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crown. Dear Duncan, as Green Crown, I'm writing you for two reasons. One is to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs, and I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on your very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I'm uh, is to for my friends, Yellow Crown, 
and Orange Graham, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both Grahams feel that they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crown. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crown here. I need to tell Orange Crown that I'm the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we're no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun, too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal. And the true color of the sun, yellow crown. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crown already talked to you. The big whiner. Anyways, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know that I'm clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crown. Dear Duncan, it's been great being your favorite crown this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crown box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crown. Duncan, okay listen here kid, you have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think that I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster, or a uh, cowboy. Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crown. Hey, Duncan. It's me, Peach Crown. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crown box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. And an A plus for creativity. The end.